cap kind of effect and I'm gonna do more of a analysis on my YouTube subscribers and how I gained them so let's begin so I'm gonna click on number of views and as you can tell I had since the start of my YouTube career it started on August the 28th 2015 and then January 1st 2020 that is the time frame I want to show you so yep and as you can tell the graph was into my favor during that time and yeah and then around October 30th of 2017 it's just yeah a lot of single digit number of views per day didn't work out but yeah I was just getting started so and then watch time hours once again, I was on my side. I mean, they, yeah. Hold on. Yeah, October 30th, something, 20. Yeah, this is when it peaked. Like, I can tell you guys, it's not perfect, but that's the way it, it, sh it should be. But, yeah. And then number of subscribers, 20. My first subscriber happened somewhere right here, which is around May 19, 2016, or before, but February 15, 2016. And it slowly, slowly uh, increased. And then when you come around 2018 to 2020, it got up to 20 total. Anyways. If I scroll down, it won't give me any specific of which videos will show you where I had the most success, but let's do it anyway. The popular one was the Chase Elliott winning the 2016 Daytona 500 pole. And then, yeah, mostly NASCAR content. But the yoga on Xbox Fitness with Jake Free. I don't know how I got high amounts of views for that one. But it's just what it is. And then another one down here on number 10, Jake Free. Huh. I'm telling you. Those two videos I need to focus on because it's not all about NASCAR, but it's just, I know NASCAR is my passion, right? But I gotta reach out to other people that want to subscribe to my channel too, so there you have it. Next, we're going to do a time frame between January 1st. 2020 to 2020 okay hold on now you can see a big difference in the the scale or the peaks and valleys of it and as you can tell like got double digit number of views per day and it really worked out the peak was 12,000 a day it's because I kind of put football content on there too which you'll see in a moment NBA I don't really do unless it's important because I'm a Chicago Bulls fan so that's irrelevant to this topic right now but anyways that's where I got the peak. 
Right, let's move on to watch our times. Yeah. Yeah, I had single digits less than ten hours of watch time. And then this one per that was seventy hours of watch time hours <laughs> on one day. Seventy hours. Maybe because there were Kyle Larson fans wanting to watch my channel too. I pray to God that it happens. Anyways, let's do number of subscribers. So here it is. Change the total of subscribers but found by subtracting subscribers lost from subscribers gained from the selected date, re range, and region. So anyways, let's see the record for number of subscribers per day. Yeah, I didn't get that many uh, subtracted subscribers, but the most I had in one day is 11. And that was when Kyle Larson won the championship. And when he wins the second one, I hope I get more subscribers. So anyways, let's move on. The top video was Taylor Heineke interview after his win over his hometown Team the Atlanta Falcons. And you see 30,000 views already total. Chase Elliott, Chase Elliott, Haley Deegan. Then there was a Kyle Larson video, even though it was a Harvick on bar camera. Haley Deegan, Haley Deegan, Chase Elliott. And then <laughs> the Hamrick and Austin Sindrick was a popular one there. And then everybody's Chicago's favorite, Alex Caruso, turned the ACF. This was a game between the Bulls and the Pelicans in the preseason game. Anyways, this was mostly racing content, not football and basketball. So, let's compare it to now. Yeah, it's in the top right corner of my uh, desktop. 12, 10, 20. Okay. It's such a mistake. Yeah. Made a mistake trying to Yeah, I knew the font color in red showed that I had to redo it. So here it is. Yeah the as you can see the Statistic wasn't as bad as the first set I did. This was from 2015 to 2020. So far more worse than the 2020 to 2022 range. So let's analyze this again. Number of views. The highest was 2,730. Maybe it's because it was Memorial Weekend, the Coke 600 for the Cup Series. And plus, I put some Indy 500 content on there, but not the Monaco Grand Prix F1 race because I can't wake up that early anymore. But once my mom and dad aren't around, I may try it, but I don't have ESPN, so. Anyways. It just kept, I don't want to say decline, it just did a little bit of a declining dip. Yeah. But it still has solid views. Yep, 1713 on September 31st, 
September 13, 2023. I think it was for the Kansas incident between Chase Elliott and Kyle Larson. That attributed to that. Yeah. Let's do watch hours. Yes, yeah, so, somewhat consistent, but yeah. Six hour. Yeah. And the peak is only 17 hours of the day for a lot of time, but I can do better. So anyways, let's move on. Now we're Skybird. It's just sometimes I gain notes with Skybird, sometimes I lost one. That's what I don't want to do. But anyways. Yeah, I just have to think of a positive attitude have the right behavior in order to be resilient and get more subscribers along the way. And this is the point of view one. From April to yeah, June of this year. Just yeah, most was three. Yeah, the graph don't look good, but I can do better. So anyways, let's see which video was popular between January 2022 to now, which is December 9th, 2023. So, uh, the most popular one was a YouTube short, which was Larson passing Harvard for the win at Bristol, which was 2021. Then it was in Kyle Larson one, at Chase Elliott. Then it was a NASCAR X race between Paul Tracy and Ken Strader getting into it. And then Chase Elliott in 2020 with Lagana. That's still a popular video as of 2020, but anyways, let's move on. Brad Keselowski, Larson and Elliott on pit road. <laughs> that looked kind of popular than I thought, but I got it. Our back first day videos. Kerpus wins at his hometown race at Las Vegas. Heineke, just from the 2020 to 2022 range, our time frame, anyhow. Yeah, and the Larson wife giving birth, which happened during New Year's. Haley didn't get in the top 10 at Mid Ohio. That was a, that was a solid interview video that I did well not interview more of a analysis of video yeah I had MR and radio on my NASCAR app and I just showed the NASCAR app showing her being outside the top 15 and she climbed back up you know that's how I got my thousand views from there and then the same video Harvick getting by Larson and people still watch it to this day Surprise. So anyways, that's pretty much it on my YouTube history. And ever since 2015 to 2023, I've been trying to climb the ladder of being a responsible YouTube creator and just being be careful that I don't get YouTube strikes. Make sure I get monetized. I have to get to 500 or 1,000 subscribers. Anyways. That's all that I have to show you guys. I had 20 subscribers from 2015 to 2020. And then I had 309 from 2020 to 2022. And then 2022 to now. I have 68. So things are getting better. I just have to slow down a bit, but I think I agree with the people. Don't make too many YouTube videos at once because you're going to lose your audience and they may unsubscribe. So, so I'm going to wrap it up and call it a day. So. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and
Peace out, guys. I'm Happy Corner 5. Good evening. Peace.